DRDO has issued an RFI under its Technology Development Fund to create a compact, lightweight radar for balloon-based platforms. Designed with ASA or mechanical scanning, the system will provide persistent low-altitude surveillance, target tracking, classification, and early warning against drones and intruders. Operating up to 100 kilometers range, it must be less than 20 kilograms, power efficient and rugged for harsh environments. This initiative supports self-reliance, cost-effective monitoring, and integration with India's Akashtir Air Defense Network to counter rising drone threats. India's SMPP Limited and the Philippines Asia Defense and Firepower Corporation, ADFC, have signed an MOU to establish a joint venture in the Philippines for manufacturing defense products like ballistic protection systems, helmets, and ammunition components. The Filipino majority owned venture supports Manila's self reliant defense posture and India's Make in India, Make for the World vision. It will boost local jobs, skills, and industrial growth while strengthening India-Philippines defense ties, following recent BrahMos missile deals, and joint naval exercises. Pratik Dhawan, founder of DG Propulsion, announced that India will commission two advanced jet engine test beds by December 2025. These state-of-the-art facilities will capture hundreds of real-time data points, thrust, fuel flow, RPM, vibration, temperature, and pressure, providing a detailed view of engine performance. Aimed at strengthening self-reliance, under Atmanirbha Bharat, the project will create a powerful database for designing indigenous engines for fighter jets and UAVs, marking a major leap in India's aerospace testing infrastructure. After Operation Sindor, HAL has accelerated work on the CATS Hunter Air Launch Cruise Missile, part of its combat air teaming system. Metal cutting and fabrication have begun, with carriage trials set for 2026, developmental trials in 2027, and production by 2030. Powered by an upgraded PTE-7 engine, with full authority digital engine control, the missile features stealth, terrain-hugging flight, AI-driven targeting, and swarm capabilities. With a 200 to 300 kilometers range and recoverable design, it promises to transform India's precision strike power. A senior IF officer revealed that India will rely on modernized 4.5 generation fighters like Rafale and Tejas until the 2070s, as stealth jets are costly and increasingly vulnerable to advanced air defenses. Upgrades with ASA radars, long-range missiles, and standoff weapons will keep these jets effective against China and Pakistan. For India, with a $75 billion defense budget, maintaining a balanced fleet of 4.5-generation Rafale and Tejas, and 5th-gen AMCA, whose first flight planned in 2028, is fiscally prudent. The strategy mirrors global trends, with the US and others still investing in upgraded F-15s and F-16s, ensuring affordability, versatility, and long-term combat readiness. Pune-based PRYMA Aerospace has secured DGCA certification for its Arjuna drone, enabling agricultural use, such as precision spraying and crop monitoring. Along with approval for its drone school of excellence, PRYMA becomes India's first end-to-end -end ecosystem for drone manufacturing, training, and deployment through Salam Kisan's platform. Backed by a rupees 300 crore MOU with Maharashtra, the company plans nationwide expansion, aiming to empower farmers with eco-friendly, data-driven solutions that improve yields, cut chemical waste, and support rural entrepreneurship. BrahMos supersonic cruise missile has been a cornerstone of India's military prowess. Capable of Mach 2.8 to 3.0 speeds, a 290 to 450 kilometers range, and versatile launch platforms, BrahMos is among the world's most formidable cruise missiles. Upgrading BrahMos with a stealth airframe and Mach 4.5 speed could make it nearly impossible to intercept, cutting enemy reaction time to just a few seconds. The redesign would reduce radar and heat signatures, 
boost survivability, and extend its relevance beyond 2050. With advanced materials, AI-driven guidance, and scramjet propulsion, this next-gen missile would secure India's maritime dominance, deter China, and strengthen exports to allies, aligning with India's $5 billion defense export target. Adani Defense and Aerospace has confirmed its participation in India's Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Program, the country's flagship project, to build a fifth-generation stealth fighter. Led by DRDO's Aeronautical Development Agency, the AMCA is at the expression of interest stage, with bids due by September 30, 2025. Designed for air superiority, strike and electronic warfare, the twin-engine jet is expected by 2034-35. With rupees 15,000 crore allocated, the program now invites public-private collaboration, positioning Adani as a strong contender in advancing India's defense self-reliance. Adani Defense and Aerospace's participation highlights the company's expanding role in defense manufacturing and supports India's push for self-reliance in advanced military technology, making AMCA one of the nation's most ambitious aerospace initiatives. India's Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, has confirmed that the indigenously developed 120 kN engine, for the AMCA, will include advanced 3D thrust vectoring nozzles. This technology will boost maneuverability and enhance rear aspect stealth, pushing the AMCA MK2 toward 5.5 generation capability. With 240 kN combined thrust, it will outperform current F414 powered MK1 jets especially in high-altitude conditions. Unlike many global fighters, AMCA stealth nozzles and advanced design will ensure all-around low observability, positioning it as a strong rival to China's J-20 and J-35. Russia is exploring the possibility of manufacturing its Su-57 fifth-generation stealth fighter jet in India as part of feasibility studies reported by ANI. This aligns with India's need for two to three squadrons of advanced stealth fighters, with the Su-57 and US F-35 as main contenders. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Nashik facility, which already builds Su-30 MKIs, could be adapted for Su-57 production. Local manufacturing would cut costs, boost self-reliance, and deepen Indo-Russian defense ties, marking a major step in their long-standing military cooperation. That's all from YKS team for now, hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.